So our study was looking at autonomic balance in IBS patients. And the way we did this was looking at heart rate variability. So the heart rate is influenced by autonomic balance, sympathetic accelerates heart rate, parasympathetic decelerates heart rate. And so by looking at changes over time, we can quantify autonomic balance. So our interest was autonomic balance in IBS patients. And so what we did was look at a colonic distension study comparing IBS patients to healthy controls, measuring heart rate during this period, and looking at variability in different experimental conditions. Of interest in particular were pain conditions, um, sustained distension of the colon, and feeding. So what we found in comparing IBS patients to healthy controls is that IBS patients show parasympathetic activation greater than healthy controls in the experimental conditions of sustained distension of the colon and following a high fat content meal. We were also interested in looking at differences in subtypes of IBS patients and what we found was that our constipation predominant patients showed higher sympathetic activation during the sustained distension of the colon compared to the diarrhea predominant patients. So in conclusion, what we're seeing is higher parasympathetic activation in IBS patients compared to healthy controls. And so now the question really is, what does this mean? And uh, does this speak to the etiology of the disease or perhaps potential therapies?